Sup, YouTube. Okay, look. Yoimiya's been out for a while now. She's going to be going away in however many days. And I just want to talk about her before she goes away. And nobody and everyone stops caring about her. So, I think that Yoimiya is pretty pog, okay? And there's a reason why I think she's pog. She is the character that is most like an archer out of all of the archers currently in game. I can't speak for Kujo Sara, but I can speak for everything that is in game as of current. And I'm going to explain why. <laughs> Also, if you would like to follow me, please do on Twitch because I stream, I try to stream almost every day. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of fun. Emotes coming very soon. And please don't forget to hit the sub button because I'm trying to hit 10k subs by the end of the year. So please hit the button. It costs you nothing. It takes you two seconds. Thank you. Well, to get into my reasoning as to why Yoimiya is an actual archer out of all of the archers in this game. I'm going to explain it in detail as to why that makes her the best archer in the game. Amber, as far as I know, the way to play an Amber is you, don't worry about that, <laughs> is you put down her barren bunny and you get her off the field and you sometimes use her ult. That's how you use Amber. Diona, she's a healer, okay? So what you do, is you run her on a set that heals, you level up her healing stuff, you pop her thing to heal, you get her off the field. You don't use her bow form unless you want to get a little energy recharge time to time when you switch her in and out. But other than that, you just have her as healing. Fischl, the exact same problem as Diona except different. All you do is put her bird down and then she's off the field. That doesn't sound like an archer character to me, does it to you? No, I don't think so. Child! What can I say about Child? You don't use him as a bow character. If you're going to sit there and tell me that you use him with his bow, you're capping. Because nobody does that. Who's going to aim shot Child and or physically attack with Child? No, you're going to go into his melee stance and you're going to beat the shit out of the enemies with a full force of water right in their fucking faces. <laughs> so yeah, you're not gonna use him as a bow character even though he technically is. Venti. I don't have Venti, but as far as I know about Venti is that you're gonna use his ult to suck all of the enemies in and then you're gonna switch to your main DPS and then you're just gonna just go, you're just gonna go. So Venti, still not technically an archer character. Yes, they have a bow, but does that make them an archer? Debatable. Ganyu. Also don't have Ganyu. What can I say about Ganyu? Only purpose is to ult. See? Sonic agrees with me. Now, Ganyu is a very interesting character because they decided to, call, to make her Call of Ganyu where you're just gonna sit there and you're going to aim shot everything, which is stupid. Now, you can say maybe that's slightly more like an archer and it's a little bit more intuitive where you have to sit there and calculate your attacks and all of that, but here's the problem with that is that it's boring as fuck. It's boring as shit to sit there Hold your buttons, or whatever, your, or your keyboard, whatever the fuck you're playing on, or on mobile. God forbid you play on mobile, but if you do, I feel sorry for you, but... <laughs> if you're gonna sit there as Ganyu, okay, if you're gonna, okay, imagine this is Ganyu, okay? If you're gonna sit there as Ganyu and do this, and fire your shots, like, if you're gonna do this the entire time you play Ganyu, and then sometimes put down her fucking ult and all that bullshit, that's not wrong area, if you're gonna do that, well, Jesus Christ, more power to you because that's boring as fuck. <laughs> like, I can't get behind people who want to play like that. It's insanity. Sure, she has the highest damage output of almost every character in this godforsaken game, but guess what? I don't care about that, okay? And I don't care about her cocoa goat milk either. Mommy milkers, no. Fuck that. If, if I had Ganyu, okay, if I had Ganyu, how would I play her? Use her ult sometimes and put down her little ice fucking flower thingy, whatever the fuck that is, and get her off the field and switch to my main DPS. I would not be sitting there aim shotting everything. That's so boring. <laughs> I want to be up and close and personal with the enemy. Now, granted, I am now a Yoimiya main slightly, so that's a little redundant of a statement. Point is, Ganyu, boring as fuck. <laughs> when it comes to being an archer character, okay? 
She is not an archer character, okay? This is not an archer character. 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 This is not an archer character, but you know what is? This. And I'm going to show you why, okay? I'm literally going to show you why this is an archer character. Bam, boop, bop. All right, now take a look at her attack patterns. Now watch Yoimiya in action. Now, how does she play? She's supposed to attack from a range of distance. And she has barely any, you know... What's the word? Um... God, what's the word? Any lag on her last attack. It's barely there. Now, if we talk about her ult... It's an aim shot at ult on one character, and then they die! So... If we're taking into account that she's not, you're not supposed to play Yoimiya as an aim shot archer like this, you can if you so choose to, but guess what? That's boring. But this, this is what an archer does. Now granted, archers can't, you know, do all her willy nilly stuff, or maybe they can. I don't know. I'm not an archer. I used to take archery in high school, but that's not neither here nor there. I'm just saying, as a bow character, this right here feels the most like an actual bow character. It makes so much sense, the way her attack patterns work, and how it all, her, how her kit works. It all just makes sense to be the first legitimate archer character. Makes sense to me, maybe you guys don't get it, but I'm sorry, this? This is not an archer, okay? This... It's just a gun person. Just using a gun that's a bow. <laughs> wow, the archer class is really made up of archers. Haha! <laughs> is it really though? Genshin Impact? Is it really? <laughs> this is some fate logic here. Is it really made up of archers? Are you are you sure that this game is made up of archers? Because I'm thinking that we've only had one legitimate archer character in the form of Yoimiya, ain't gon' cap. So that's just my two cents on it. And Maybe that's why people don't like Yoimiya, but for the most part, it's because she doesn't do, oh, she doesn't do big damage like the other characters. Ha ha ha. Shut up. Shut up, Meta Slave. Nobody cares. And if you do care, go outside and touch some fucking grass because, bro, you you wasting your life a little bit on Genshin Impact if you really care that your Ganyu is doing, like, millions of trillions of damage on the enemies, so <laughs> that was just my two cents on the whole Yoimiya thing. I just wanted to explain why I think she's the best archer in the game. Now hear me when I say that, the best archer in the game for reasons I have already explained. And if Mahoyo decides to make Kujo Sara something more of like a not this, that's fine. Yoimiya feels a specific role for something we haven't seen before so far with an archer character or a bow character. It makes a lot of sense to me that this is how it works, and I think it works well. So I like it, and I won't stop liking Yoimiya for a long time. That being said, Ball is coming out with Kujo Sara. Maybe Kujo Sara will change the game, but from what I've seen, she's probably not going to be like Yoimiya. She may be a lot like, not like Fischl. She might be... I don't think she's going to be like Ganyu either. I'm not 100% sure how, how she's going to fit into the Archer Bow class. But we're going to find out in the coming, you know, weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that sub button all that stuff. Trying to hit 10k subs by the end of the year. And I will see you guys in the next one. And please, go follow me on Twitch. Emotes are coming very, very soon. I will see you guys later. Bye!